All right, so what we have done is we started with one step equations, which literally took one step to solve them. Maybe it was to add, maybe it was to divide, but it just took one quick thing to do. And then we did two step equations for a while, and those took two things to do. Maybe you had to add and then multiply, maybe you had to subtract and then divide. Um, and then now we're going to do multi-step equations, and it literally just means they take multiple steps to solve them. But the good news is the process is the same, okay? Over there on the board where we have our process, the process is the exact same. So the good news is it doesn't change. And, and most of you guys will probably not even think this is much harder than what we've been doing, okay? The key, as it has been and still is, is where do you start farthest away from the variable. That's the really the only way you can mess up is if you start in the wrong spot. <clears throat> okay, so these examples that we're going to do today, they're going to look a variety of different ways, but we're going to use what we already know and we are going to be able to solve these equations. So let's do one right here 3x minus 7 over 4 equals 8. Okay, so using what we know about solving equations, our first step in the process is to see what's happening to x. In this equation, there's a lot happening to x. It's being multiplied by 3, it's being subtracted by 7, and it's being divided by 4. We got three things that we got to take care of. Now, the question is, which one of these three things do you think is farthest away from x? Can you guys tell? Say it again. It is the 4, and here's why. We've got this big long line here separating the top from the bottom. All this stuff is in the top together, so you're right, the 4 is furthest away. How do we get rid of this 4? Okay, so step one, we, we already know how to do this. We multiply by 4 to get rid of the dividing by 4. I'm going to bring down 3x minus 7, and then 8 times 4 is 32. And then now we've got a whole new equation, which we've been solving these for a few days now. Is the 3 or is the 7 further from x? The 7, okay? So how do we get rid of a minus 7? Add 7. Bring down your 3x and your equal sign. And then 32 plus 7 is 39. And then how do we get rid of that 3? Divide. And then 39 divided by 3 is probably 13. Can anybody check for me? Yeah. All right. And there we go. So, good news. We already know how to do these steps. This equations, these equations we're doing today just take a little bit longer. To me, these are funner because they're a little bit more challenging. But I'm a nerd, okay? <laughs> Um, we can check ourselves in case you're wondering if you're the type I know in the back I'm not saying names because I'm recording I know she likes to check herself so if you wanted to check yourself what you would type in the calculator is 3 times 13 minus 7 over 4 you would type that whole thing in the calculator just like that I'll do it for you real quick first of all I want to type in a fraction so I do alpha y equals and then I do 3 times 13 minus 7 over 4 and then when I hit enter, it gives me 8, which is what my equation originally equaled was 8. Yes. So we good. We did it. All right. Let's do another one. <coughs> make, it, make it look a little bit different. How about, oh, this one's easy. Negative 15 equals 5x minus 1 plus 6. Now remember something that we talked about. Is anything that's on the other side of the equal sign from X? Leave it alone. Stay away from it. So stay away from the negative 15. This, this, and this have got to go. The 5, the minus 1, and the plus 6. Now, which one's furthest from X? Plus 6. How do we get rid of plus 6? Minus 6. Okay. 6 minus 6 cancels out. They make 0. Negative 15 minus 6 is negative 21. And then, again, we're at an easier equation. Do we do the 5 or the 1 next? 
the one we're going to add one negative 21 plus 1 is negative 20 and our last step is to get rid of the 5 by dividing good and make sure you divide negative 20 by 5 do not forget your negative it should give you negative 4 I believe mm -hmm. All right, do y'all want to try one? Yes. This one's going to look even different, but I think you will be able to know what to do. So this equation is going to be negative 2 plus 2x over 3 equals 14. So we haven't done one like this, but I want to see if you guys know what to do. I think you probably do. Take it one small step at a time. Okay, I'll show you when we get it done. All right, let's do this one. So what's the furthest thing from X? Oh, three. The three? How about this one? Um, the negative two is furthest, okay? Because these are right di directly underneath each other. Those are closer together. The two is where we want to start. So we're going to add two first. That's all right. You haven't seen one like this before. I just wanted you to give it a shot. 14 plus 2 is 16. Now, which one of those is farther away, the 2 or the 3? Now it's the 3, so we're going to multiply by 3. 16 times 3 is 48, thank you. And then lastly, good, divide by 2. So x should be 24. Now, I'm going to write down the equation one, one more time from the beginning just so that we can talk about how to solve it. This was the original equation. So in the calculator, I would type in negative 2 plus, and then I'd do a fraction, 2 times 24 over 3, and it should give us 14. Okay. You, you're upset back there? Don't be upset. If I got upset every time I messed up, especially a math problem, I, it would be bad. I shouldn't be a teacher. I mess up. All right, this one's kind of tricky, I think. This one's kind of tricky because of the parentheses. Okay, but we got a lot going on. We got x being subtracted by 2. What's this 4 doing? What's the number in front of parentheses doing? It's being multiplied. And then we also have an extra plus 2. So I think we probably obviously know that this one is the closest thing to x because it's in the parentheses, right? Parentheses group. So we're going to save this for last. The question is, which one of these two things is further from x? The 2. Good. This one is further away because this one's right in front of those parentheses. So this is furthest away. That's what we take care of first. We subtract 2. 18 minus 2 is 16. It, the key is getting the first step right. Now, out of these two things, which one's further away? The 4. And remember, y'all just told me it was being multiplied, so we want to, the opposite of multiply is, we want to divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 cancels. Now, notice I didn't write my parentheses this time. You don't need them once there's nothing outside of them anymore. You don't need them. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Add 2. Finish that thing out. X equals 6. Good. Let's do another I've only got seven for us. I think that's sufficient. All right, this one's going to be negative 75 equals five times 3x plus nine. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to do what with the negative 75? Anybody? Nothing. Nothing. It's on the other side of the equal sign. Leave it alone. So out of these three things over here, the 5, the 3, and the 9, which one's furthest from x? The 5. How do we get rid of that 5? Divide. Divide by 5. What's negative 75 divided by 5? I'm going to say your name, but I'm... All right, so which one of these is further from x, the 3 or the 9? We're going to subtract 9. He says this is negative 24. And our final step is to divide by 3. And negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. Questions about that? It just You just have to see it one step at a time. We divided by 5 first because that was furthest away. Then we took care of 9. And then we took care of the three. All right. Two more for us. We'll do this one together and then one by ourselves. Seven equals three minus x over two. Now this one really shouldn't be terrible. There is one thing that we might forget to do at the end, but I'm going to remind us. So, would you say the 3 or the 2 is further from x? The 2. Because we got this big long line separating the top from the bottom. The bottom is furthest away, so we're going to multiply by 2 to start. 2 times 7 is 14. Now this is what we talked about on Thursday. Even though this is a subtraction problem, it's the x that is being subtracted, okay? Look at the 3 and look in front of the 3. What's in front of the 3? What sign? Nothing, right? That means this 3 is positive or negative. This is a positive 3, okay? This is a positive 3. How do we get rid of a positive 3? Subtract 3, yes. Okay? What is 3 minus 3? Zero. Zero. You have to make sure you pay attention to that, okay? I know that's a, a little bitty thing, but it's important. So then 14 minus 3 is 11. And I'm going to make sure I bring down minus x or negative x. And this is what we talked about on Friday, or excuse me, on Thursday. Anytime you have a negative variable, put your 1 in there. This means it's being times by negative 1. Negative 1 times x. So we're going to divide by negative 1. And then 11 divided by negative 1 is negative 11. Let me show you just real quickly because this is a weird one to type in the calculator. Let me show you how you type this in. I'm going to type in, first of all, I'm going to do a fraction. 3 minus negative 11 was what we got over 2, 7, which is what we were supposed to get. All right, last one. Let's let you guys try this one. Twelve plus four x plus four equals forty eight. So, these are the three things that we are trying to get rid of. Which one of them is farthest from x? 
12. The 12 is being added, so we want to subtract 12. 12 minus 12 cancels. I'm going to bring down my 4x plus 4. Now notice, I don't need the parentheses anymore because since we got rid of the plus 12, we don't anything that's outside of it, if it's gone, we don't need it. 48 minus 12 is 36, right? Yeah. Then we're going to subtract 4. That gives us 32. And then divide by 4. And that gives us 8. Did we get it? Those of you who attempted it? Yay? Nay? Yay? No? Do you know what you did wrong? Alright, 